Convergent evolution occurs when species that are only distantly related to each other have independently acquired similar features. Sunbirds, including the variable sunbird, which is shown on the left, and hummingbirds, including the calliope hummingbird, on the right, appear to have evolved traits that enable them to feed on the energy-rich nectar inside flowers. Both species are found in forested areas. However, their broad geographic distributions are completely different, with sunbirds inhabiting Africa and Asia, and hummingbirds inhabiting the Americas. These range maps, courtesy of eBird, indicate frequency of observations for variable sunbirds and calliope hummingbirds. Note that Tanzania is a hot spot for sightings of variable sunbirds. Sunbirds and hummingbirds have thin bills that aid in extracting nectar from flowers. They supplement this sugar diet with insects. The variable sunbird featured in this presentation was perched on the sandpaper bush shown at left. It was periodically feeding on nectar in the bright yellow flowers which were blooming in early March. This tree was located 700 meters southwest of the Nyumba camp at Enashiva. It appears that convergent evolution has led to sunbirds and hummingbirds sharing aspects of beak shape that enable them to feed on nectar. Evidence for this convergence comes from the phylogeny of birds, part of which is shown here. Phylogenies reconstruct species relationships and historical patterns of transformation through evolution. In this phylogeny, we observe that sunbirds and hummingbirds are distantly related. The variable sunbird is more closely related to starlings, lovebirds, woodpeckers, and many other bird species compared to the calliope hummingbird. Although sunbirds and hummingbirds are small and have long, thin beaks, not all aspects of their morphology and behavior have converged. Like all hummingbirds, calliope hummingbirds can hover indefinitely. They have pointed wings, and they leave their wings extended so they can support their weight during downstroke and upstroke. Variable sunbirds, like most small birds with rounded wings, fold their wings during upstroke. This means that they can only support their weight during downstroke, and this helps explain why sunbirds can only hover for brief periods of time. Usually sunbirds will perch as they feed on nectar. The wake of a hovering hummingbird, as revealed using lasers and particle tracking, shows that the downstroke and upstroke are both aerodynamically active. Hovering helps hummingbirds to feed on flowers. Why is it that sunbirds have not evolved an active upstroke and the ability to hover indefinitely at flowers? One hypothesis is that evolution via natural selection can cause changes in bill shape more rapidly than changes in the anatomy and neuromuscular control of the wing.